Hello my friends, today I'm gonna show you something useful. So this is quite useful 3D print. Why? Well, I'll show you what's inside. Ta-da! You are probably familiar with this device. This component tester name is GM328A and there are many many reviews on uh, YouTube and you can buy it Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, you name it, it's everywhere and prices vary a lot so take a look and get the least expensive one. Some people even hack this because there is a microcontroller right there underneath this OLED screen and yeah you can uh, you can hack it. I did not go this way. What I decided to do this time is actually to power it. Usually, originally it was powered using 9 volt battery which is connected over here for example and so on but 9-1 battery is really annoying so I decided to whip up something like that so those two battery gonna provide about 7.4 volt of voltage which is plenty because I think this a uh, where is that little uh, voltage regulator I don't think uh, 7550 I think this guy is right there I think it can handle up to 6.4 volts or something to this extent which is still gonna be running fine with those two battery even if they are depleted so my idea was to whip up this sort of holder I got this model from a um, Thinkverse and I printed for three and just happened I have it on you so I decided to use it for this particular purpose uh, obviously missing one battery you can put you know spare battery over here or something to this extent and it uses just a wire over here and over here those two connected and here we are so and connected with the wire into this uh, little um, GST connector that's it you know and it works it says my voltage is 8.1 volt everything is good and dandy and LED even shining so but it's ugly and unusable right so I find very nice case in Thingiverse and user I don't remember so I include his link uh, to his original model over here and I think it was actually really nice design and I liked it and I decided to print it so what's happened here so this GM328A goes right in there, make sure this does not interfere, something like that, ta-da, and my battery goes through this battery compartment, goes through this hole, which is pretty much unused, and just this stays like this. Still, the problem is gonna fall out. So I designed this, which just slides slides sorry slides just like that well slides just like that I designed this part, which is which slides just like this, and this is how it looks like now. So now you have this container, which is protected from all sides and sits together. If you would have, maybe I'll design another lid, which actually slides right here or something to this extent. I think this is more than enough. And original design comes with this little knob, which slides over here, and that's it. And here we are. So we have nice and compact looking um, case for GM328A. Uh, so what do you think? Do you like it? So if you want to pick up, if you want to pick up and build it yourself, link in the description. Uh, also gonna link original model of this case and original model of battery holder, which is customizable part. So you can customize it for whatever batteries. I think it's pretty useful, not just for this project. And also I'm gonna share my particular container. So guys, I hope you like this little model. Uh, like, and, like and subscribe, please support my channel and support effort for sharing some cool uh, designs. Thank you for watching and see you next time.